Hello everybody, it's Kason and I have a couple questions, four to be exact, of what do you think? They're simple yes or no questions, but I think that if you focus on the answers that you give, and more importantly, I suppose, the rationale behind it, you'll learn something about yourself that's quite important, considering all the things that are going on right now. So, the first question, remember, yes or no, no elaboration, no caveats or yavits. Is there any way in which someone can change an evil action into a good action without changing the action itself? Number two. If it's bad for you to do a certain thing, is it okay for you to try to get someone else to do the same thing for you? Number three, I suppose this is uh, more poignant for today's world. If a law conflicts with your own moral conscience, do you have an obligation to follow it? Number four, do you believe it's okay for government to force you to do things or to fund things that you're morally opposed to. I believe there are four words that lead to tyranny. They show up in a variety of different ways, but they all end the same. To the child, it's because I said so. To the adult, it's because the governor said so. And the resultant of all of these, if you say them long enough and hard enough and keep repeating it enough, even whenever people try to develop their own conscience is he loved Big Brother. In the film The Great Dictator, Charlie Chaplin admonishes us in his speech. Don't give yourself to brutes, men who despise you, enslave you, who regiment your lives, tell you what to do, what to think, and what to feel. He goes on to say, fight for liberty. But what does liberty mean? One definition says, the state of being free within society from oppressive restrictions imposed by authority on one's way of life, behavior, or political views. Now to turn this abstract nebulous concept into something a bit more concrete, I would suggest to assume that liberty is when everyone says no to the four questions at the beginning of this video. And those who have the audacity to say yes, don't try to override your personal conscience by threat of force. Now, if you found these thoughts interesting or inspiring, visit our website, disenthrall.me, where myself and my partner in victimless crime, Patrick, discuss risky freedom, dangerous thinking, and rebellious philosophy around a host of different topics. We hope to see you there.